Hey there, Dave Penyuk of Revenue.com coming at you with Nick Karadza of Rockstar Real Estate from way back in Ontario. And Nick uh, is over with us right now. We took him through some of our properties, some of our uh, the different neighborhoods we, we buy properties in in Nanaimo. And we want to kind of share the types of properties we buy, the locations, just to get, you know, see, see uh, give some examples of what we do versus what he does out in Ontario. And um, it's actually kind of funny sitting in these chairs. I feel like we should have some cigars. I was and thinking the same some thing. Some smoking, yeah, yeah. you know, smoking jackets some or cognac. something. <laughs> some <This> cognac. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to do that next time. Um, but but before we get into the cognac, uh, I wanted to actually say that we took Nick into one of our renovations and we're putting a, a legal suite in. Uh, many of you have probably seen the video that Julie's um, putting in about putting in a legal suite, the legal suite series. And Nick was actually kind of like wowed by almost like the luxury of, of this house and what we're doing <laughs> with it. And he's like, oh man, I can't take it any of my properties in, in Ontario because this is going to embarrass me. Um, but one of the things he really pointed out was just how nice the suite was and kind of the finishings we were putting in and everything. And he actually had a story he wanted to share and it really a lesson for, for you uh, who may be considering doing some renovations. Well, you know what? I mean, first, thanks for taking the time to do that because um, it was really insightful. It's always insightful learning what other people are up to. And um, yeah, I mean, early on with one of the properties that we almost completely renovated, this was actually a student rental property. So we, we, we didn't really want to use high-end material. And we're like, well, the student's going to be living there. We just need to make it nice, but we'll use all the cheap stuff. So at this time when we were using laminate flooring, we used the thin laminate. We found the cheapest light fixtures at Home Depot. You know, for like 10 bucks, I was like, nine ninety nine, you can get light fixtures? This is great. Let's use this one. <laughs> so... Um, and then going into the property after, like all that stuff just starts to look old and kind of a little bit run down really quickly. So at the time we were doing it, it was one of the first properties, we didn't have a huge budget to do it, but looking back, I mean, we were trying to, to save money, but if we only spent an extra 10 or 15% on the material at that time, it would have helped us, it would have made such a big difference with the, the quality of the product that we had at the end of the day. So it was very nice what we had at the end of the day compared to what we did, but that little bit extra, spending that extra stuff would have made such a difference. And then now we wouldn't have to be looking at the property saying, oh, let's re-renovate this room. Let's redo this flooring. Let's get change the light fixtures and make them nicer. Because we've had that all done already. So we're kind of almost, in a way we're doubling the work. And it was just, a, it was a lesson learned from early on. And that's why when I was seeing what you guys were doing, I'm like, oh man, this is exactly what you know the exactly what I should have been doing years ago when, when I learned that lesson the hard way yeah yeah and and it's interesting too because often the materials might cost 10 or 15 percent more but the labor generally won't cost oh, any more no, thing, yeah. to put in a 12 millimeter laminate versus a seven or eight millimeter laminate so you pay that little bit more but you get the better quality longer duration the maintenance you have, have to do less of because it's a better quality product so uh, thanks for sharing that with yeah, us no and, and with our listeners and and for all of you out there remember it's <laughs> it's your life, your terms. <laughs> and remember, your life, your terms. Until next time. You gotta do it again. Why? <laughs> it didn't work. Is it recording? Yes, I didn't turn it off. Oh, crap. <laughs> and remember, your life, your terms.